Good afternoon. I'm Amy from um, Croydon Library and I'm coming to you today from Croydon's wonderful cookery book collection. I thought I'd begin today by showing you some of my favourite uh, books that are in. So we have Mary Berry's Complete Cookery Book. She's a British uh, chef and she makes beautiful homemade savoury and sweet pies. We have Jamie Oliver's cookbooks and he makes lovely uh, weekday meals and he usually uses pantry ingredients, so things that you would always already have in your pantry. We have my favourite women's weekly cookbooks. Now these recipes are always triple tested, so they always work. Um, they tend to use uh, seasonal Australian ingredients and uh, they make very nice meals. And my absolute favourite, Maggie Bear's uh, seasonal cookbooks. If you ever see one of these in um, a hardback, you'll just see how beautiful a book it is. Of course, we have many, many other cookbooks. So today I'm going to show you how to bake uh, Anzac biscuits. But before I begin, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the history of the Anzac biscuit. So during World War I, people at home in Australia sent parcels to the Anzacs in Egypt, Gallipoli and in Europe to show their support. Many of the packages included biscuits and these biscuits were made from rolled oats, golden syrup and flour. Uh, they had very high nutritional value, they kept very well and they travelled well and we know these biscuits today as the Anzac biscuits. Now, the recipe stems back from 1917. Um, it's changed over the years, but the thing that's common in all of the recipes is that the, they have uh, rolled oats in them, golden syrup and flour. The recipe I'm going to be using today is from one of my favourite cookbooks, the uh, Country Women's Australia uh, Classic Cookbook. And... Here is one of the, the recipe I'm going to use. So they have a beautiful uh, picture. Um, they have the ingredient lists. And what I love about these books is they always tell you where the recipe is from. And this one's from Anita Moorish from Victoria Hill Branch in Queensland. So let's begin. I'll just pop on my little apron. And the first thing you have to do is you have to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. You will need a mixing bowl, some measuring spoons, a baking tray. Now the baking tray at home I usually use is um, a lot bigger than this. A cooling rack um, and some spoons. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put all the dry ingredients in a bowl. So we're going to start with half a cup of self-raising flour. Okay. We're going to put in a quarter of a cup of rolled oats. We're going to put in half a cup of sugar. Oopsie. And we're going to put in a half a cup of coconut. So these are all the dry ingredients. Okay, then we're going to make up the mixture for the wet ingredients and I prepared this earlier because I don't have any cooking elements here. So I added a tablespoon of boiling water, 55 grams of butter and some maple syrup, golden syrup. So um, I put in a heaped tablespoon of golden syrup. Once you put it in a pot, you bring it to the boil, and when it's boiled, you put in half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Just pop that in. 
mix, mix, mix. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. And we're going to mix them well. So you mix, mix, mix until they're all combined. Okay, so then what you need to do is to get a bit of the mixture make it into a little ball until it comes together. And then you're going to pop them on a lined baking tray. So like this. You squeeze them down a little, just keeping their shape. The important part of this part is that you have to spread uh, the biscuits spread when they're cooked, so you have to make sure that you leave them room to spread. If you don't, then instead of beautifully round biscuits, they come out like this. They, they join together and they misshape. Now, they're still very tasty, but if you want those gorgeously round Anzac biscuits, then um, give them some room to spread in the oven. So I'll just do a few more. So this mixture is for about um, six to eight biscuits. Uh, when I made that at home, I doubled it. Okay. Now when they're done and they've got enough room to spread, you put them in an oven that was preheated to 180 degrees and um, you cook them for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, I cook mine for about 14 because I love my biscuits crunchy on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside. It's really important that once they come out of the oven that you take them off your baking tray and you pop them onto a cooling rack. Now, the biscuits are going to be really soft, so when you're transferring them onto your cooling rack, just make sure you do, do it really carefully. If you keep them on the baking tray, they'll get too hard because once they're on your cooling rack, they will harden, but if you keep them on your baking tray, they'll, they'll just get a little bit too hard. Now, I just wanted to show you some that I baked earlier. So this is a double batch that I cooked last night. Now, normally on um, Anzac Day, which uh, this year is on Saturday, um, we normally go out as a family to uh, the Croydon's uh, dawn service. Now, of course, because of the times that we're in, we're not able to do that. So what I'm planning to do with my family is have a cup of tea, pour a lovely cup of t mug of tea, sit around and have some um, lovely Anzac Day biscuits with my family. I'm planning to think about the Anzacs that served us so well. I'm going to think about um, all the other uh, Australian men and women who served our country in the other wars. And we're going to talk about the people who are serving our country um, overseas at the moment, away from their families at difficult times, and think about all the Australian servicemen and women who are helping us get over these difficult times in Australia now. Um, one of the things that I do is that I go out to nursing homes and I do reminiscence activities. And I thought that I would end today by reading you the lyrics of a beautiful song. It's called, We'll Meet Again. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I'll know, we'll meet again some sunny day. Keep smiling through just like you always do, till the blue skies drive the dark clouds far away. 
So will you please say hello to the folks that I know, tell them I won't be long, that as you saw me go, I was singing this song. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. All of us at Eastern Regional Libraries are missing our customers. We're so looking forward to opening the libraries again one day when we're allowed to, and we will definitely meet again in happier times. Um, please take your time to make some Anzac Day biscuits. Think about those who served our country, uh, lest we forget. Cheers and bye for now.